Well, this diorama starts out, as always, with research. I was really interested in the battles for Kharkov, which is now Kharkiv, in the Ukraine, uh, the German offensives. I think there was like four battles uh, for that city. Um, but this one here, I started researching, you know, the figures, the soldiers that I was going to use in the diorama because I really was interested in the winter type clothing they were wearing and I saw a lot of other modelers doing some of the same things and there's a lot of figures out there for them so after doing research I was like okay I'm going to do something and I noticed they used a lot of 251 half tracks so I had these old uh, dragon figures and the heads are no good they really need some work but the bodies and the arms are okay so I also researched, and I really like this Rado figure um, in the same period time of, of, of the German offensives wearing that same type of clothing. So I was like, okay, he's going to get used in with this small diorama. The diorama starts as a wooden box that I got from the container store. I filled it with expanding foam, as you can see here, and then started with epoxy two-part Sculpey making the groundwork. I wanted a ditch and I made a little ditch next to the road because I was going to add a little bit of a water effect in it. So as you can see here the figure is pretty stock, the Rado figure, and the other figures converted with a cornet head. And here you can see the model taking shape the Dragon 251 slash C model. I made a tarp for the top out of AMB Sculpey. You can see static grass now is added to the base along with some pebbles and rocks. I then added a few plants on the right side there. Now the figures here shown and the models is basically getting ready to be painted. As you can see here, the dragon figure has a new head, a new helmet. Um, the head is from, I believe, Hornet. Um, but I just repositioned his arm just slightly and to be looking over the side there. Here the static grass is put in place. Um, there's some other foliage in the, in the actual ditch. Some photo etch and some other plants. And now here you can see the painting process started. It's just like the 247 armored car diorama. A quick coat of the quick color flat black, then the dark earth brown there, and then an over light overspray of the light sand. As you can see, the diorama's coming together here. Now I've also converted the Rado figure. I want him to look way more like he's in that campaign, so I carved off his ammo pouches for his car 98, and I gave him the Russian PPK submachine gun. I had these in my spare parts box, so I was able to add the spare pouches, the ammo pouches to him, and then put a sling, which was already on him, and just hooked up the PPK. Here's the finished diorama. Oh. It's pretty interesting uh, how everything comes together at the end. Oh. As I said, the water, the water feature changed. <laughs> it would looked a lot better when it was lower water, and you could see the sides of the ditch but that's what happens sometimes in modeling you mess up and you got to re-pour um, as I said the snow 
is just sprinkled on baking soda and then afterwards white glue mixed with water and a little alcohol sometimes i put a little bit of rubbing alcohol in it breaks the surface tension and it just soaks into there and sticks the baking soda to the groundwork the a and b sculpey putty tarp on top of the 251 uh, came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm getting better at, at messing with that stuff. I really like making tarps and rolls and blankets and stuff with it. Um, this vehicle was, was weathered a lot like the M35 medium armored car Panzer wagon video I did. I just didn't add the uh, pastel weathering on it as hard. Definitely not with this the dirt. It's a darker, darker, darker soil here, so. But the figures, the rando figure, I, I just love that one. And the conversion just, just really came out really cool on him. And I'm really, really pleased because it, it just gives this diorama a little bit of a difference when you convert a figure or have figures that are converted. And, you know, putting hornet heads on dragon figures helped them a lot in the older Kharkov dragon figure set there. I just used the body and put a different head and uh, I'm really pleased with the way that guy turned out as well so yeah but this is it final diorama and as I said it's just a wooden base <laughs> it's like a box that I got at the container store filled with uh, expanding foam and then Sculpey on top decals came from a multitude of places but a lot of these, I think, are from Echelon. And next, I have a little bonus here that I want to show you. And here's the bonus uh, diorama for this video, which was the radio command version. Uh, this is also in Kharkov. I was really into the Kharkov theater, uh, watching videos, mainly looking at other modelers uh some of the work they did so the uh the snow once again is baking soda just more of it as you can see and the vehicle was painted the same way as the 251 slash c as the video before or the project before except I did some more snow effects on it um, just to give it that worn looking, worn off winter snow um, paint that they put on, limestone, whitewash, just really worn off. And I did that just with diluted paint, acrylic paint, and then weathered afterwards. Just gave it like a filter just kept putting a little tiny bit on in different places. And then the weathering process with the washes, etc., cetera, uh, tied everything together. The excellent uh, markings come from Echelon. And he, he really did a great job of representing this vehicle that was used. And it's, it's, as you can see, I just added some photographs of this vehicle. Um, there's one thing that was really interesting on one of the photos, you can see right in this area where his hand is, I thought they were smoke grenades, but they weren't smoke grenades. It was field uh, tripod, field glasses, telescope. And uh, they were laying across the vehicle. And I studied and studied in it. And I was like, man, these are, these are smoke launchers? And I tried to fashion some that look like it. And then closer and closer I looked, I'm like, wait a minute. That's not what it is. So that was omitted. I was going to put them setting up here. And it just didn't work out the way I wanted. 
but uh, this figure here is from the newer Karkov dragon set, except he's got a hornet head, and, and I've changed him up. Instead of holding the bread and uh, the other things, I've just left the canteens, put some uh, mess kits in there, and uh, just changed him up a little bit as a conversion. And then interior of the 251C has a radio set up in there. And I've got all kinds of equipment thrown in the baskets. And the tarp on the back I made out of A and B putty. A little bit better look at the uh, radio set. And I've added some wires there out of solder electronic solder and I just wrapped them up and put them up there on top put some maps stuck in there um, could have detailed the those radios probably more but anyhow it's, it is what it is now <laughs> but this is uh this is the second Kharkov diorama bonus so Really enjoyed this one, and once again, it's on a wooden box. I got the container store, and you can see it's held in with a screw. The model, I, I drilled a hole through the bottom, right into the model, and it pulled it right in. And then I did some more snow weathering around it to make it look more effective. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Armor Models by Glenn Bartolotti. Step by step.